Hi traders, I would like to discuss today the issue on how to add to a winning trade. Now, Lulu started with a gap down, moved up, quick look at the daily. Then after you look at the daily, look at the market. The market started with a gap down too and is moving up. So does Lulu. Now, Lulu is moving up with the market, but it's very, very likely to pull back down because it started with a bigger gap than the market. It already is down more than 1%. The market just down 0.1%, but Lulu is outperforming the market, meaning it's down more than the market, much more than the market. I'm getting ready to short shorting now. It is the first reversal, just shorted 2000 shares. And I believe now that there's a very good chance that the market will pull back and so will Lulu. So as you can see, initial move is very nice. Lulu's coming down, stock's already down 1.6%. And uh, stop is going to be approximately here, 149.70 something. So I'm risking approximately 50 cents, shorted at 149.27, as you can see here. Now again, it's the first time uh, Lulu pulled back after a move up, but it moved up with the market. And usually when a stock is moving up with the market and the, when the market is pulling back and right now it's slightly pulling back, then a stock that is down more than the market, meaning Lulu is down 1.6%, the market is only down 0.1% right now, is very likely to continue down, but that to be seen later. So right now I'm waiting for my first uh, target, my one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, and it's coming down, it's coming down, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, look at the spike, look at the spike. Okay about to cover covering now look at the spike earlier 154.24 you see that trade over here it's very interesting uh, because uh, sometimes you see a trade like that which is out of the ordinary price it's very interesting and it's cancelled now as you can see at this point of the day i'm already thinking about my second trade in lulu so my original entries you remember was right over here and then i took my partial and then it continued to come down and i only have 100 shares left now and I'm thinking about my next trade. It's, as you can see, it's tried to move higher several times and failed, but it has a very good support here at the 147.60 area, approximately. So I'm thinking that if it's going to come down under 147.60, I would like to short it. But my second trade is never ever going to be as dangerous as the first trade. Now, I don't think my first Lulu trade was really that dangerous, but I'm planning a scalp here, meaning trying to short it. If it comes down, look at the numbers now, look at the buyers, 147.60. If it comes down under 147.60, I will click the button. And now we did, I'm short again, 2000 shares. Now I have 2100 shares and I'm looking at it again, more like a scalp. I do not want to have the same risk I had earlier. I already have a winning trade. The last thing you want to do when you have a winning trade is turn it into a losing trade. And really, it's very easy to turn a winning trade to a losing trade. When I started out as a trader, it happened to me plenty of times, almost every day. The thing is, I'm already feeling that I know how Lulu behaves. I feel invincible because I'm making money in Lulu and I feel like it's very likely that I'm gonna make money again. So usually what people will, will do, and it's wrong, they will add quantity. They will even take bigger risks. And that is really the last thing you want to do when you have a winning trade, take bigger risks. It's getting very close to my target now. The 20s, I'm getting ready. Okay, now, took my partial, left 200 shares. The only thing I really know about Lulu is it's trending lower. I was really not expecting it to come down under the lows that way. I was really not expecting it to continue its trend this way. But it did prove to me that it, it wants to come down. I'm following it. I'm getting some kind of an idea of how it's behaving and I'm enjoying its trend. So I'm trading with a trend, but I'm taking less risk. I took my partial relatively quick because I wanted to make sure that I'm on the green side. Now it's coming down very nicely much more than I expected. I'm getting ready to cover another 100 shares of my 200 now, left just 100 shares. And that was a great second trade in Lulu. Now here's my third chance to short Lulu today. Lulu continues. That's the breakdown I took earlier. It pulled back up. Just the pullback gives me a chance to short it again. Look at the 147 whole number here. If the stock is going to come down under 147, 
usually whole numbers are support or very good support. It's probably going to continue down. Now it's with the trend. It's after a pullback. It looks great for some more continuation. And I'm thinking about my stop loss. So the first thing that I can see that my stop loss is relatively very close. 147.30 approximately. So I'll be risking approximately 30, maybe 35, possibly 40 cents. And I'm getting ready to short it once it comes down under 147. And again, look at the number of shares I'm going to short now. Now, 800 shares. The quantity is smaller. Why? Because, again, I do not want to risk a good trade and turn it into a bad trade. Smaller size, smaller stop loss, quicker partials. I'm not going to turn a winner to a loser. And here's the results. Stock is down to 147.25. That was the recent low. At any sign of a pullback, I'm going to click the button. So again, watch the seller's side moving, moving down, moving up. There's a small pullback and I'm out of the trade. And that was my third trade today in Lulu. Now, the stock continues to come down. It continues to trend lower, but you never know where it's going to pull back. The more it comes down, the more dangerous it becomes. So I continue to lower my size. I continue to look for a quicker scalps. Target should be smaller. Therefore, stop loss should be smaller. In fact, you start with a, with a stop loss. You, you notice that you can have a stop loss of approximately 30 cents, which is relatively small for the stock like uh, Lulu. And then you try to see whether you have a chance to get a 30 or 40 cents partial. So just a quick summary of my three trades in Lulu today. After I took the first one, the second one had to be with less risk. It had to be with the same trend. So never think about going long and then maybe possibly going short and then going long again in the same stock, feeling like you really kind of know the stock. You don't really know it. And that's what's dangerous about a second or even a third trade. You feel like then you know the stock. You feel like you're invincible. You feel like you control the trade. You don't really. So if you see a good opportunity for a second trade in a stock you already traded, make sure that your walls are higher. Make sure that you're lowering your quantity or having a smaller stop loss or even a smaller target. Quick, take quicker scalps. Make sure you finish on the green side. Never risk the same amount of money you risked on the, on the first trade because you do not want to trade to turn a winning trade to a losing trade. So lower your size, lower your risk and take the second or the third trade only if they are with the same trend with your first trade. So don't trade all over the place. Don't go long short. Just continue with the trend, lower your size and never risk more than just a small portion of the money you already made. Here's how my account looks like. Uh, three trades in Lulu, up $1,600, a loser in Unit, small winner in WTW, and a loser in Yeti. Hope you enjoyed this day. Uh, although I did finish my day in red territory, down $270, I did enjoy my, my Lulu trade. So don't forget to subscribe. Click right here on the bottom corner and looking forward to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.